and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's not make this long. Guys, they, this episode could have been left in a draft. This episode could have been all of 10 minutes. We did not need this episode, guys. We did not need, we did not need, we did not need. I don't even know if I'm gonna be giving y'all what y'all want from me because this episode didn't give me. So guys, I don't know what I can give to you, but I'm gonna try. You know, I'm gonna try. Well, before I get into this review, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all already know, road to 15K. Guys, I have 83 subscribers onto 15K. On, you know what I mean? Then we're gonna start saying road to 20K and beyond and beyond. So guys, come on, before Love Island finishes, we can get to 15K. Now let me get into this review. So the episode starts off with the aftermath of the talent show. Honestly, the fact that we heard Tom singing again and all of them singing again, the same song over, like, we, we've actually heard this. Like, let my ears rest. Let me rest, yeah? Let me rest. I don't wanna hear it no more. As, as, as zone. Um, I really don't. Um, next thing, all day, all night, all they're speaking about was how amazing this talent show was. Okay, realistically speaking, I'm happy for the solidarity. I'm really, very happy about that, but I don't wanna hear it no more. But I guess that that's what it was good about it. Like everyone feels like they're a group again and they're together and everyone's loving on each other. And But y'all was talking ish about each other yesterday. So for me, guys, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. But I guess it's one of those things that when you've gone through such a bad time, you want to hold on to the good times. I'm I, I, That's not the way I work out, but I'm happy for everybody involved. Okay. Kai is complaining about Sanam crying on the spot. Now, guys, of course, Kai's humour is not something I all the way get. I don't know if he's serious or not. Him calling it a red flag or not. I don't, I'm not quite sure how to, I don't know if I should go off or not. Hopefully he was joking because that's not a red flag. That's called a talent, that's called a talent. Like if someone said they didn't want to date me because of my profession, that means, oh, I'm too argumentative or whatever. That would just be silly. So I'm hoping he's joking. Let me move on. They get a text, they're doing up the cocktail shake up. Guys, this challenge was so, nothing added to it nothing added to it you have to you have to dash drink into cups that they're wearing on their head and pour it into a bowl whoever gets it first wins okay wow um i'm glad at least they didn't do the spitting in the mouth thing because we've asked for them not to do it and thankfully this season they haven't so i'll give them that also shaq was accusing people of cheating he better not even go there he better not even go there because sports day was only how long ago he better not even go there. I don't want to hear cheating and shack in the same sentence because he said winning is winning, winning is winning. So, winning is winning by your standards. Um, I feel like there was moments when the old Kai was trying to come through. He was just acting a bit lame. I don't know. Again, he could be joking, but I don't get the. I'm 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 not picking up. I'm not certain of the humor. I ain't picking up on it. Um, I feel like I was getting getting glimpses of the old Kai. Kai, you can sustain yourself for the next six days just and go and then i can still vote for you but i don't know again he could be joking guys i'm not too sure i'm not too sure but i it, because it's not clear i don't know really which way to because so i'm not going to go in but i'm I'm making an observation and i'm pointing it out in the in the evening the girls are talking the guys are talking oh my gosh this is the best group of girls lana you don't even know what you're talking about baby even so you are part of the fakeness too i ain't even gonna front it all y'all girls is fake Y'all trying to do kumbaya, my lord. Y'all all fake. I cannot even believe. Honestly, y'all all snakes. Not even in the grass. Y'all snakes upon the road. Y'all snakes that we can see, yeah? There's no snakes in the grass around here. <laughs> no, me, am. Even the boys doing the same thing. You guys were just arguing yesterday and do, like, I'm sorry, guys, I can't do this. I can't, this, oh, we love each other, what, you know what I mean? G group camp, all this, all this BS can go where? In the bin. Because, guys, I'm not feeling it. I'm really, really not feeling it. Like, it's just, mm. It's inauthentic, guys. Moving on, when Tom's saying that, oh, I'm gonna be there for the boys, I'm gonna be there for the boys, and then the boys start laughing. Tom, they don't believe you. They don't believe you're gonna have their back. They, they don't, they don't, um, they don't. Point blank period. Then the boys are also talking about, oh, imagine us having marriage and kids. Y'all ain't not even on step one. Y'all not even, what, what, what are we talking about marriage and kids for? Y'all not serious. None of these couples are going to last, guys. So marriage and kids with who? With who? Yeah, let's let's be serious. Let's actually be serious. Um, Tanya and Shaq, I guess she now confirmed that they're not actually in a relationship. Tanya says, when he asks me, he needs to be extravagant. So I guess probably she told him that behind the scenes, which is why he hasn't asked on TV yet. Because I'm sure Shaq would have asked by now, considering he said, I love you after two weeks. But Tanya said, ah! I want Hakkasan, baby. I want rose petals. 
maybe she's maybe she wants the whole Gemma and Luca thing. So yeah, he can't do it in the villa. Um, Will and Jesse uh, talk about moving in together. Visa secured. It's given leave to remain secured. Um, it's given passport stamped. I do think Australians can come to this country and live without that because of the Commonwealth. I'm not too sure, but that's my assumption. But even still, she's going to live her hickory dickory farmer life with Will. Lush. Um, Casey is saying he's closed off and that nobody else is going to catch his eyes. Guys, let's be, let's be serious. There are no other bombshells coming in. This is the final week. Nobody else is coming in. It's here. <laughs> this is the last draft. Nobody else is coming through. The team, the team is here. So him saying this statement actually holds no weight. H holds absolutely no weight. For someone that's a slow burner, how can he make this type of commitment? You see, guys, I'm not feeling it. You can't be a slow burner and be exclusive with someone, basically. Has it even been a week? Claudia only left two seconds ago. It ain't even been up to a week that Rosie's even been in this villa, I don't even think. So, slow but That's what I'm saying. Slow burning these nuts, guys. That's why I keep it. Slow burning these nuts. These nuts. Um, you see, and then even when he was complimenting her, again, looks with the main thing he was saying. Casey, you see how when she said it, she was like, oh, our personalities fit. We just get on so well. These are the, like, he's not, that's the things I miss. I think he might have said one thing like that, but that's the main thing that's missing. Oh, you're beautiful. I love, look, you're, rest, Casey. Oh my gosh, rest. Moving on, the three musketeers are together. Talk about how they got worldies of girlfriend. Oh, not girlfriend. They got worldies as girls. And, um... They're gonna keep them on their toes and they're talking about how tight they are. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this bromance ain't giving. It's, they're actually at this point all jacking each other off. I'm not here for it, guys. Um, like, usually I love a bromance. I love, love a bromance. This three right here in the bin. Straight like that. Straight like that. Because, no, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling this bromance. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Um, and then you see, this is why Jessie says she doesn't like Casey and Will hanging out together sometimes because they influence each other to do the dumbest thing. Why would you guys be screaming iconic? Which one of y'all three, which one of y'all is iconic? Let me know. Let me know. Because this season ain't iconic and ain't none of the characters really iconic. Some people can maybe, but iconic, iconic, no. Straight like that. No shade or tea. It is what it is. Iconic. Why are y'all screaming iconic? I think honestly, it's so funny the, the, the way people see it themselves versus the way we see well, the way we see them. Because for me, when they scream iconic, it's an ick, it's giving lame. This is why I wouldn't what this is why I said, oh, these boys playing this is the type of plane I was talking about. If my man is screaming iconic, I'm gonna be looking at him like, What you doing? Go and find something else to do. Stop hanging out with these boys. Cause I know Tom didn't really want to say it, but that's what I'm saying. Sometimes, guys, the company you keep be influencing the way you behave. I'm sorry. I just wasn't feeling it. Anyways, they got a text. The three couples in the bottom were Tanya and Shaq. I I'm not surprised. Rosie and Casey. I'm not surprised. Jesse and Will. To be fair, I'm not surprised, but I really wanted to, to be Tom and Sammy for them to be humbled and for them to know they're not the king and queen of No Love Island. At least as of yet. That's not them. So... Uh, it was a shame. It was a shame. Tom was getting upset because he's thinking two of my bros, two of the musketeers are up there. Oh, I'm going to lose one. And then the couple with the lowest votes, of course, was Rosie and Casey. So they got dumped from the villa. The three musketeers have been disbanded, guys. <laughs> it's been disbanded. This is now a twosome. This is now the two musketeers. Um, lol. Um, Will and Tom seemed very, very happy. Like... A wise man once said, Theo, if you're so bothered by it, if you're so sad about them leaving, then leave. If you're so sad about Casey leaving, then leave. Yeah, just like that. And then tomorrow's episode is the baby challenge. Of course, the baby challenge is always coming. The review tomorrow is probably going to be just as short as the review today because, guys, I'm sorry. The baby challenge just does my head in sometimes. It really do. I don't really care for it. It's not. It's one of my least favorite challenges because it does what? Besides the baby screaming and one of the parents can't take care of the kid what else is there guys thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope this video is under 10 minutes um and i'll see you in my next video